Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the Center 521 Bluetooth Thermometer Data Logger. To get started use a small screwdriver to unscrew and open the battery compartment on the back of the unit. Insert the four included AAA batteries. Reinstall the battery compartment cover and screw it into place. Press the power button to switch on the unit. The four channels along with the battery status and thermocouple will display. Around the edge of the unit is where all available symbols and notifications will display. Plug your electrodes into the desired channels. The measure temperature will display almost instantly. Next, we'll run through the button functions. As covered, the green button is the power key. Press this to switch the unit on and press and hold this for three seconds to switch the unit off. Next is the backlight button. Press this to turn on and off the backlight. Note, the backlight switches off after 30 seconds to conserve battery power. Next is the data hold button. Pressing the hold button freezes the data on the LCD. When in hold mode, hold will display on the top of the LCD. Press the hold button again to exit data hold mode and return to real time measurements. Next is the REC button. Press the REC button to begin recording data. When recording, REC will display on the screen. When recording, most of the buttons are disabled. So before you begin data recording, ensure data record selections are already made. We'll run through how to do this in the setup menu shortly. When the memory is full, full will display on the LCD and the data logging will stop. If the battery power is critically low or becomes low during recording, the meter will automatically stop logging. To exit data recording mode, press REC again. Next is the memory button. Pressing this will save the current reading on the LCD screen for instant recall. When pressed, MEM and the stored reading group will display on the LCD. Press MEM again to save the next group of readings. To recall saved readings, press the recall button. The LCD shows the group number along with the hour, minute, second on the screen for two seconds, then will display the readings. Press the up, down, left, right function keys to move between the memory groups. Press recall or the power button to exit recall mode. Next is a min max average button. Pressing this button one time displays the maximum recorded value on the LCD. Max will appear on the top of the screen. Pressing the same key a second time displays min on the top of the screen along with the minimum recorded temperature values. Pressing the key a third time displays AVG on the top of the screen along with the average temperature values for each channel. And last of all, pressing the button a fourth time will make the max, min and average symbols blink together as the readings display real-time data. Press and hold the max, min, average button to exit this mode. Pressing the C, F button switches the display between Celsius and Fahrenheit instantly. And last of all, pressing set enters into the setup menu. Within the setup menu, press the up, down, left, right arrows to adjust parameters or move setting items and press the MEM key to save changes and move on to the next setting option. The first setting option is to switch Bluetooth on or off. Use the hold or record key to switch Bluetooth on or off. Press MEM to confirm. This screen is thermocouple type selection. Press the left or right keys to select your thermocouple type between K, J, E, T, N, R or S. The unit comes with an included type K thermocouple. Press MEM to confirm. The next setting is the adjustment of interval data for data storing. Use the left and right keys to move between the minute or second adjustment and then press up or down to increase and decrease the values. Press the memory key again to confirm. Next is the offset selection to compensate for probe errors. Use the left or right arrow buttons to select the thermocouple channel to be adjusted. Then use the up and down selector keys to increase or decrease the value. Then press memory to confirm your selection. Next is the alarm point selection. Press the up and down arrows to turn alarms on or off. Then press memory to confirm. If switched on, use the arrow keys to adjust the high and low values. Next is T1, T2 subtraction mode setup. Use the up and down arrows to turn this function on or off. The second last setup selection is setting the auto power off time. Use the up or down arrows to select the automatic power off option between 10 minutes or 30 minutes or 1, 2, 4, 8 hours 
or switch the function off so that the device remains on until manually powered off. Press memory again to confirm your selection. Last of all is setting the system clock. The unit features a built-in clock so the data logger function can also record the date and time along with temperature measurements. Press the left or right arrow keys to select the year, date or time. The flashing value is the value to be adjusted. Then use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the value. Press memory to confirm. The device will now automatically return to the start of the setup menu. Exit the setup menu and return to measurement mode by pressing the set key. Clearing data records. To clear data records, start with the unit switched off. Press and hold the REC button, then press the power button to switch on the unit. Keep holding both the REC and power button. The LCD will show CLR and SURE. Then it will count down from 5 to 0. The device will then clear data logger records. To clear the instant readout memory, again start with the device off. Press and hold the MEM key, then press and hold the power key. Keep holding both keys and the LCD will once again show CLR and SURE, then count down from 5 to 0. Once the device reaches 0, the device will then start to clear the instant readout memory records. It will start at 00 and move its way up to 99 records. Hold the keys until all the records are erased. And that's an overview on how to set up your Center 521 Bluetooth Thermometer Data Logger. For more information on this thermometer data logger, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.